one day as I walked in the beach at La Jolla, I noticed these docents collecting data on the clipboards. They were there day after day. They were collecting data and I just kept asking myself, why aren't they using a Google form? <laughs> Honestly. Um, and so with help, we were able to get rid of the clipboards and we created a system for them to get information and to be able to use it efficiently. Um, they put me on the board of directors, more so so they can keep me. <laughs> and I was able to help them gather this data and make sure they did something with it. So we, were we, we downloaded the app, um, Google Form, onto every docent's phone. And from there, we were able to present a case to city council showing the effects that tourism had on the local wildlife. I didn't realize at the time how sharing a little bit of knowledge was able to shape the conservation community of La Jolla. And since then, um, I participated in a zoo hackathon, which um, the safari park throws every year. It's a three-day weekend where you are able to impact change around the world. And I participated in this with the group from a makerspace that I, um, that I volunteered at called Fab Lab. The people who were at this makerspace believed that they could help the community build through their ideas. They believed that technology could change the world. And as it turned out, we ended up winning the San Diego Zoo Hackathon and then the World Zoo Hackathon. <laughs> and from there, um, it was a very fast journey. <laughs> we took our, that experience and with the belief that we could work as a group and collaborate, we made sure that this system could be implemented. So over the course of a year, we worked with the London Zoological Society, as well as the San Diego Zoo, and we created a system um, that was implemented into Matra and Kenya, where um, the local communities were able to, to convey critical information to rangers that pertain to, um, to poaching incidents, to intelligence on poachers, to wildlife conflict, um, as well as it was able to help guide rangers to any poachers that were in the area. Through that system that we implemented, we learned quite a bit about what it took to, to collaborate as a community. We had members, well, unfortunately, we had members of our community who were not able to stay with our group. And the gaps that were left made it so that we were not able to ultimately create this app to its entirety. And we learned the effects of community and how one single piece could really alter the fate of a system of conservation as well as just a community effort. So from there, I still worked with the San Diego Zoo. After that event, I was able to help with the Tech to Reconnect events. And the goal of these events was really to help people connect back to nature through technology. Because I believe that using tools that we have at our disposal now are very powerful. There is a underlying belief that technology takes us away from nature. And what I believe is that using these tools are powerful because they can em evoke emotional experiences and teach people things that, that can only really be felt. I want to feel the effects of climate change as if I was in the Antarctic. And using virtual reality, we can have students create these experiences and make it so that they feel like they are contributing to the global conservation effort. Um, with the help of the zoo, we were able to build a computer. Um, we were able to have a 12-year-old build a computer <laughs> who, then we, you, uh, who then helped us create this virtual reality system. and we painted our first project, which was a virtual reality walkthrough of a rainforest. We, we used this application called Tilt Brush and, um, and a system called the HCC Vive. And what that entailed was two months of hard work where we were actively engaged in creating something. We were collaborating, we were growing, and we were inviting people in to create their own tree. And with every tree that we painted, we gained ownership of our rainforest. Our room became the canvas and our 
hands the paintbrushes. There was really no limits. It was truly a magical experience as you walked through your painting and you saw the stars above you and you took in the sounds of nature. And it was really, it was life changing. After seeing my students and their love for conservation grow with that, we decided to continue this the next year. Um, and in this past Tech to Reconnect event last month, we took elements from our our, um, our immersive rainforest and we decided to go a step further and see what we could do. So we decided to use virtual reality, but not virtual reality with just a painting application. We decided to collaborate or to use augmented reality in conjunction with virtual reality and create an experience that was immersive in every aspect. We wanted people to learn about what, what exactly was going on in the world what we did was demoed a, um, a virtual reality savanna where you walked around and you interacted with elephants, you interacted with the environment. You could grab an orb and your hands were the remotes. So you would grab an orb, you would toss it, and a tree would be planted where you toss that orb. It would grow and tower over you. And it was something that when paired with augmented reality really made it a learning experience that you could then grow from. So with the help of students, they created an augmented reality um, experience with Metaverse, which is um, a, a system where you can actually teach content in a more interactive and fun way. So we use visualizations, we used um, quizzes, and we use GPS-based trackers and if you can imagine this technology being used in zoos and exhibits worldwide, you could see yourself walking through an aviary. And as you walk upon, um, walk to a sign of a bird you're looking for that happens to be asleep somewhere, you can actually pull up a 3D model of that, of that bird and it'll walk around, giving you the information that you were looking for and giving you an idea of exactly what this bird looks like. And that in itself helps us learn so much more about wildlife and it helps us connect more so to what we can do with technology through that lens. With our past exhibit, Eyes of the Elephant, we learned so much about AR and its possibilities. It helped us gain a deeper understanding of what could be done in the future and how we could actually take these systems and build a community from it. My goal is that each student is able to, to have these tools using augmented reality, virtual reality, using programming, design, graphic design, and art to teach everyone about the wonders of nature and to make sure that we feel still connected to nature. And it's so much more possible now than it ever was. Technology isn't a way for us to disconnect. It's really a way for us to reconnect to our experience in this world. I challenge you all to look at what, what you know and see how valuable that information is and grow from it and help others grow from it and help aid in conservation efforts worldwide. This was the event, the Tech to Reconnect. We had artists, we had students using 3D printing using um, well, using the computer system that a student built, we brought together an exhibit that was so immersive and impactful in people's lives. And I really hope that um, we can all look to our communities and learn something and help each other grow. Thank you.